what's up there gemini this is going to be your weekly reading and this will be for you guys if you are sun moon risings or any other placements of gemini maybe even cross watching for a gemini person so keep in mind you guys these readings are general they're not personal readings so um the only way that you'll truly know if a reading is meant for you is by getting a personal one so if you guys are interested in booking me for a personal reading you guys can check out my website just make sure that you guys email me to set up your booking date or your time if a time is needed. Also, if you guys have any questions about my readings or availability, you guys can email me as well. I do not um, handle business on the weekend, so any emails, any readings um, will have to be taken care of start of the week Monday, okay? So I'm available Monday through Friday. Emergency readings are the only exception. So if you guys are interested in emergency readings as well, that can be booked on my website. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let me charge my phone first before we be over here looking crazy. <clears throat> okay, so let's tap into your energy. I'm going to do my air signs and water signs first this week because it seems like I always post the other ones first. I'm going to do you guys first for once. Let's look at the general energy with the oracle. What's the oracle message for Gemini? Fine, why? And you got like four cards that want to come out. Beauty. Royalty. Okay. I see you. And soundtrack. Okay. Hopefully this is angled right and you guys can see the cards. Okay. Um. Anyway, so find wine. I'm just going to go off my intuition first and then I will read what the messages say on the cards. So the message that I'm picking up with fine wine and beauty, there's something about treating yourself. The first thing I did see between the two of these cards, like the roses and the wine, was like date, romantic energy. Also, you know, with the royalty, this has something to do with, you know, treating yourself, doing something nice for yourself, um, spending quality time with you, yourself. And with the soundtrack, this is representing like, you know, chilling out, listening to some music. And it could be like a romantic setting or date or something like that, like an indoor date or something um, or, you know, at your house or whatever. But if not... I am getting more so that this is like treating the self and like laying back, listen to, you know, your playlist, you know, that gets you, you know, in a chill mood or makes you feel good about yourself, maybe taking a bath or something like that. But this is more of a treat yourself energy. But let's see what fine wine says. And I'm going to turn it my way. It says, like the finest of wines, as you age, you become, become more complex, distinct and valuable with the knowledge and experiences gained along the way. Celebrate all of the flavor you have acquired thus far. So yeah, this is like you celebrating yourself and going back and seeing your growth and the things that you've learned. You know, that's what I'm saying. With beauty, it says the beauty that you recognize in the world is a simple, a simply a reflection of your own. Take time to appreciate all the beauty inside and out in your life. This is a way of instantly shifting your perspective to one of gratitude. So, you know, it's easy to look at everything else outside of ourselves and um, only pay attention to what's lacking. So if this has anything to do with, you know, um, feeling a little bit down on yourself a little bit, I feel like spirit wants you to look at yourself and the way that you look at the most beautiful things outside of you. Anybody that's a reflection of beauty is just a reflection of you. Whether that be a flower, whether that be a person, whether that be a situation, a feeling, you know, know that that's internal as well. It's a reflection of your outer worlds or, you know, inner worlds, excuse me. Royalty. It says knowledge, acknowledge the royalty in your DNA. Curiosity or cur courtesy, excuse me, courtesy of the divine and your ancestors. The bloodline that runs through your veins is made up of the same particles that create our universe. Hold your head up high and display your crown. So yeah, again, this is like, you have to give yourself some credit and love yourself and know what you who you are um and it goes beyond physical things it goes beyond status and you know whatever else this is internal this is the depth of who you are where you come from you know way past just bloodlines this is you know um universal bloodlines and things like that so i'm saying with the soundtracks card 
says every hero needs their theme music and you are no exception what are you constantly listening to or consistently listening to and or telling yourself ensure that the soundtrack of your life is filled with affirmations positivity and motivation so yeah so music could be like your your thing like that keeps you moving that keeps you going that makes you um you know it keeps you in a good place and I feel like when you certain things can definitely transmit your energy so it could be that maybe playlists that speak more to like what makes you feel good about yourself like uplifting motivating music for you you know um as a person and seeing your value and your gifts because you know sometimes we listen to music that's like turn up and like yeah i'm getting money blah 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 but sometimes we need that music that motivates us and even if you're not a christian for me like sometimes i listen to gospel music and that helps me raise my vibration that helps me to heal that helps me to purge it helps me to like ground myself it helps me to put everything in perspective so you know sometimes that might help so let's see what's going on with the tarot and i keep sniffing y'all because my nose is stuffy and i apologize if i sound like eeyore right now <clears throat> but you know all right so i'm going to do a tarot spread for you guys i'm gonna turn it my way my angle so it may look like most of the cards are in reverse but they're not i'm just putting it my way thank you for your love and guidance truth and clarity for gemini whoa thank you page of swords Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords in Reverse, the King of Swords, Tower, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, the Chariot, Three of Cups, and pull one more, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see the cards okay all right so you guys have the page of swords so the page of swords is your overall energy that represents you and being that this is an air sign energy i believe this is an aspect of yourself that's coming through and this could be like a change of perception um clearer minds okay you may be more clear than you were before coming into this week um but this is definitely where you are this could be messages that are coming through you guys may be getting abundance of signs and synchronicities. You guys could be getting um, clear audience messages through music, through conversations. You guys could be having dreams. You may be speaking to, you know, your ancestors or people in the spirit room. You may it may feel like they're actually talking to you. Like I don't know if you guys ever experienced this where you're like halfway asleep and then halfway awake still, whether this is before bed or when you're just about to get up, and it seems like you're here but you're not here and you might even be having conversations i feel like you're going to experience stuff like that and there may be some important messages so anything that sticks out to you that stands out that you heard in your sleep or that you saw or anything that you remember in your dream state please write it down if you guys are receiving um, any synchronicities write them down or take a picture like um one of my sisters she sees license plates synchronicities all the time so she usually takes pictures of them so it's like a reference it's something to remind yourself of um like i don't know i'm into numbers i love numerology so numbers always speak to me and it'll be like my birth date will come on the clock or like someone else close to me's birthday will come up or something significant so i know that that's for me and i usually take a picture of that and keep it and not only that it's like what's surrounding it like what is it so say for instance um you see the synchronicity with flamingos and this like it has your birth date on it it could represent like a soulmate connection a relationship or something coming in for you if it has a person's birth date involved and it's something you know you're listening to the radio and it's like I don't know Beyonce's dangerously in love comes on or something and then you see someone's birthday that could be a sign of something like that person could be speaking to you it could be anything so just take you know whatever resonates but I feel like you guys will be having a lot of insights and it's gonna be like clarity that comes with it a newfound sense of clarity with the eight of pentacles some of you guys may be um challenged by mastering something working towards something this could be work challenges um financial challenges or it could just simply be to stay focused on something you may be working 
um, multiple jobs, multiple projects, or just focus on different priorities right now. You have a lot going on and I feel um, you feel maybe a little bit pressured or you're very, very focused, but it could be um, some sort of challenge with it for whatever reason. And it's going to be different for each and every one of you because your situations are unique. You guys aren't all the same. So with the Nine of Swords being in reverse, I feel like this what this has something to do with is a stressful energy. So I feel like whatever you're stressed out about, you may receive clarity. And I feel like you don't have to um, overwork yourself or push yourself this week because if you're prone to, um, like, uh, say, for instance, you're prone to like a lot of different thoughts like I got to do this I got to do that because that's the type of energy I'm picking up like I have to do this and I got to do that and I can't do can't forget to do that or pick this up or buy this or you know call this person or write this and type this whatever it's like a lot going on or pay for this and so I feel that relax a little bit and I feel again like spirit is going to bring you the clarity and if there's something that you're stressed out about that you feel like you don't have the answers to right now you will receive it I feel with the king of swords here so you start with the page this is the first court card this is the child energy leading to the father energy the you know and this is the the um, highest state that you can be in the court with the page of swords to the king of swords so that's a lot of progression or that just represents that you will have that clarity that's what i'm getting you're going to have that insight and that clarity that you need and i feel like this is a shift in perception i feel like this is being very clear and very sure of yourself with whatever your mental worries or stresses are or whether it's something specific you are going to be able to stand on what it is that you um, needed to know or whatever you do know. With the tower right next to this energy, there may have been a, um, a situation where you've gone through a rough period in your life. It could have been a very shocking period. It could have been a very powerful period in your life where it seemed like everything just kind of crumbled or you know, certain foundations that you thought you could stand on. Let's say for instance, like a job, like you thought this you had this job for 15 years and they you know the company was doing very well or what have you then they just decided to close the company and lay everybody off and it's like a shock because no one was prepared for it it was a stable job so it could be things like that it could be relationships it could be um just life events that happen and this can also represent it it brought about an awakening when we go through um, traumatic experiences, sometimes when we go through life altering experiences, it usually leads us to a transformative period in our life. It go, we go through our awakening or we go through many of them, but we go through these awakenings where it's like everything we thought we knew and believed, it just shifts. We go through, you know, ego deaths, aspects of ourselves that have to go. You know, it's it's really not the most easiest of times. And I feel like you're going to receive clarity because maybe you're in the midst of this or you're coming out of that energy. Um, maybe for a small few of you, you're going into this, but this is past tense. With the Two of Cups, the time that you're coming in, this is balance within the self with the Two of Cups. But this can also represent some sort of togetherness with, you know, loved ones or, you know, love coming in. I don't always see the two of cups as romantic, but I will say with the two of wands right next to it, this could be like soulmate connection, if you want to call it soulmates, or some of you guys may resonate with twin flames, or whatever you feel guided, whatever you feel drawn to, especially with the chariot too, there's a lot of polarity. Some of you guys may have gone through a breakup, maybe that's what it is. Um, maybe you've had to release certain people or something to get back to yourself. But I see what's for ahead of you. Some of you guys, this could be in the near future, some sort of coming together. It could be soul tribe, soul family, you know, people that resonate with you. But it can also be a romantic connection. With this lion card here, there's a lot of healing that's taken place in your relationships with others. And for some, you may come together with a partner during this time or you may meet someone. Um, but I just see that it's some sort of reciprocal energy and balanced energy with the two of wands. I feel like you kind of slip in and out energetically, like you might be, um, 
energetically here physically but you're also in the spirit room a lot you may be daydreaming a lot with these with the page of swords you may spend a lot of time fantasizing nine of swords can represent you being in the spirit room astral room spending a lot of time sleeping but if not i just see this as some of you are in a position where you are transitioning you're going through a transitional phase in your journey and in your life and i feel like you have to tap into this um this courageous energy i'm seeing a lot of reds here a lot of red colors bright colors it yellows as well yellows reds so this reminds me of the lower chakras so this is about stepping into your power and being confident with whatever your path is or your decisions are with the chariot card here the chariot card represents the influence so you're being influenced by some sort of um I feel that this could be a spiritual influence. It may be if you have a cancer in your life, whether it's a family member, a friend, a lover, um, you know, a teacher. If not, then I get that this could be like a spirit guide or something that's guiding you. And this has something to do with your journey and your path. Could even be your higher self that's guiding you. And I feel that the influence of this has something to do with healing. And it also is helping you to trust more, to surrender more and trust and get out of the state of the Nine of Swords. So with the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups represents some sort of celebratory energy. I feel like you're, you are looking forward to maybe more positive times. You're looking forward to more togetherness, to perhaps some sort of specific celebration. Maybe you're working towards something that you wish to celebrate later with friends or family. It could also be that for some of you, you fear this lack of support. So I feel like you desire support. You desire a good time. You desire a happier time. You desire to give your, you know, to have that, again, have that appreciation already for yourself. Appreciate yourself already. But I feel like this is you wanting to celebrate you and celebrate something that you've done or that you've overcome some sort of success with the chariot card and the nine of pentacles here so this could be what you're working on with the eight of pentacles and in whatever this is that you are struggling with in the eight of pentacles know that with the nine of pentacles it's going to come to a completion in a positive way so this is just solidifying what spirit is saying that you're going to have that clarity that you seek so whatever it is it's going to work out in the best way that it's meant to and this could be multiple things. But I feel like this is you being in a place of stability within yourself and your energy and, and being proud of yourself and what you've accomplished. So that's what I'm saying. You guys uh, may have a lot of cancer energies around you because I'm seeing a lot of cancer. I'm seeing um, Aries energy, Virgo energy. Could also be other air signs, Libras, Aquariuses as well, other than Gemini. Also some Scorpio energy, maybe. This doesn't have to be about people. This can simply just be, um, you know, time frames of those zodiacs. It can represent timing. So let's take a look at your love energies for this week. Keep in mind, you guys are all different. Your love situations and relationship statuses are different from the next Gemini. So please only take what resonates with you. All right. What's going on in Gemini's love energies? What is the major energy surrounding Gemini? Spiritual connection. September. Marriage. Oh, wow. Past life. And June. So this may resonate more with my Gemini's born in June. Um, or it could be something significant in June that took place in the past, whether it was this year or last year, 10 years ago, or it could be, you know, something in the potential future. But I'm going to clarify these cards in the exact order that I pulled them. Thank you. Ten of Cups in reverse. King of Wands. Two of Swords in reverse. The Empress. The Devil. Okay, so you may be in a spiritual union right now or there's like in regards to spiritual connections, a deep spiritual connection or love. You desire this for some of you. Maybe you are unhappy with the energy of the situation or you don't feel like it's at the best space that it could be in. Some of you guys could be dealing with... Um, 
could be dealing with a fire sign person or you guys are trying to muster up the courage for something in September. Maybe there is a marriage. Maybe you guys are getting cold feet about a marriage. Um, whether you're already in a marriage or you're going to get married, you guys could be slightly afraid of this. You're getting cold feet because this represents the challenge. And there's something specific about September. So you guys could be dealing with the person that's born in September or there's something significant about this month for you, um, the September month. But I feel that this is needing to have this courage. And it, whether you're male or female, you don't have to be masculine energy to resonate with this. But I get this is more of that, you know, being in your total power with decisions or um, an action. With the marriage card and the two of swords, I feel like you are going to receive some sort of clarity or spirits telling you to stop projecting this feeling of you don't know or you're confused or that you're not seeing everything for what it is because I feel like when this is in reverse this actually means like you know for a fact that maybe there are some things that you need to point your attention to or how to um make this decision you know what decision you need to make because this can be indecisiveness but it's in reverse so I feel like you know what this represents there's no confusion I feel like there may be even a sense of fear Okay, because of something that happened in your past, this could be in relation to your mother's past, you know, maybe you seen your mother or family in toxic relationships that just didn't work out. So you're kind of holding on to this. It could be someone that you have a child with that you don't want to repeat past history. For some of you, this could be like, I've loved myself to the fullest. I've taken care of myself. It's been me, you know. I've gotten to this place where I really love myself and appreciate who I am and, you know, your past. And I feel like if you struggle with this love for self and appreciation and feeling worthy, because some of you may not feel worthy of having this fairy tale, um, whatever this dream is that you have about spiritual connection or a love situation, you may feel like it's because there's some sort of sense of, I'm not worthy. Maybe a parent made you feel like you weren't worthy or told you that, you know, love, real love does not exist or it's challenging, it's difficult, it's always some drama, you know. And I feel that for some of you, this could represent looking at your past and seeing how it actually made you stronger and love yourself even more for all that you've gone through and what you've experienced and what you've learned and how it shaped you into the stronger person also with the devil card clarifying june there could have been a toxic situation that you were dealing with in june some of you guys it could be that you are dealing with a capricorn person but i get this energy maybe of obsession uh, maybe you're obsessing over something that happened in the past. The moon and the six of pentacles. So I just get that, you know, you guys are afraid of something coming to light or you might be dealing with the person that's afraid of something coming to light. But there's also like this secret desires. Some of you guys, it could be someone is obsessing over you or you're obsessing over someone else but it's very secretive and i feel like it's mutual this isn't an unrequited love situation for for most of you i feel like it's a mutual attraction it's a mutual desire but it's suppressed or it's being hidden by both of you so yeah i feel like this is yeah so you guys may have some fire energy here in your chart or it could be that this is a person specifically it could be a masculine leo or a male leo you guys have pisces libras um libra and taurus energy or Ven venus energy someone who has venus ruling in their like a lot of venus planet placements maybe with the moon card it's pisces energy six of pentacles is taurus and the capricorn with the devil so these could be signs of people in your life people from your past it could be relatives that you're you know that you've learned from or people that have helped you on your journey or these could be placements within your own chart or these could be at you know um time frames of the zodiac this could represent times in your life or potential future so I feel like the conclusion of all of this is that some of you guys may be afraid of something and you have to confront your fear and this could be in regards to reciprocation or some sort of balance or afraid that you're not going to get what you put out or if something is going to be returned to you. I get this desire like you want this 
happy ending whatever that may be for you in love whether it happens this week or not it doesn't matter but i feel like what you're going to conclude is that there's something about giving and receiving give and take and overcoming a fear or overcoming some sort of toxic patterns or freeing yourself from toxic patterns or relationships following your instincts following your intuition and trusting yourself let's see what your advice is from the romance angels and that will conclude your reading for this week calling in your soulmate pay attention to the red flags and past life relationships so i feel like paying attention to what happened in the past in relationships or um in your life in the past you may be caught up in that so much that you're not seeing the signs and the synchronicity that spirit is showing you like i said in your other reading some of you guys you may be a soulmate connection or whatever you want to call it connection a divine or spiritual connection whatever is coming um coming to you and i feel like you need to be more focused on manifesting or praying or affirming what you want in your love life rather than focusing on you know these fears that you have and i feel like the more focused you are on the specifics of a situation or a person you're missing what spirit's showing you you're missing the signs that spirit is sending you and i feel like with these past life cards two cards that's representing the past life could be something to do with taurus or libra or like i said venus energy something with venus ruling energies planets um but it could just represent love this could be a person that is adored and loved you could be this woman you know maybe you feel like you were not appreciated in the past maybe you were dealing with if this is a woman that you're dealing with maybe you feel like you didn't appreciate this person something about this and i also get like karmic if you guys you know resonate with that karmic connections karmic partner energies so it could be that the conclusion of this is that the energy Maybe you were giving to the wrong person or you were dealing with someone that was giving to the wrong person or just felt like in the past is you gave a lot to the wrong people. And it doesn't have to just be romantically. This could be with friends and things like that or giving too much of your energy. You have to heal this past life. I feel like you may deal with people that know you through and through in and out. And it's hard for you guys to discern sometimes whether these people are really actually good for you or not. But I feel like you will have clarity about this. But pray on this. Pray for clarity about, okay, spirit, if this is the person for me, let me know. If this is not. Or let me know if I'm truly ready for love or I'm not. You know, whatever your intuition is telling you to do. That's what I'm seeing. So I hope that that resonates with somebody out there. And if it did, feel free to like this video, share this video with someone, or share the channel. Subscribe as well. And I will see you guys back with the next reading. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next reading, peace.